This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Today's video is brought to you by Stamps.com. There have been a, a slew, a panoply, a peck, a bunch, a whole mess of lawyers who have represented Donald Trump, both personally uh, as his personal attorney, you know, the, the uh, Alina Habas and the Christina, whatever this new, this new crop, this new uh, generation of lawyers are. But there are also people who work within the, the, the walls of the White House as official employees of the United States who represented the White House who represented the presidency, and by extension, Donald Trump. Ty Cobb is one of these individuals. Ty Cobb, apparently, his full-time job is lawyer, and he only moonlights as a, as a Civil War, Southern Confederate Civil War general, <laughs> impersonator or reenactor or whatever. Uh, he is a man who kind of handled the Mueller investigation, the defense side of it, in the White House for Donald Trump. So he's not a never Trumper. He's not a guy who's who's shy about giving his opinions. Um, and he has come out and said, I'm going to play a clip that's a little longer than what I normally play, but there's so much context. It, it's so dense with information and nuggets that I want to play it. It is him saying that he believes Donald Trump is going to end up in jail related to this documents case and the Jack Smith special counsel investigation. It is wholly remarkable and uh, probably not going to get the news that it deserves. It's with Aaron Burnett. Before we get to that, very briefly, a word from today's sponsor, Stamps.com. This time of year, it's all about how quickly you can get your work done so you can get out and enjoy the great outdoors. Hiking, gardening, even window shopping. I mean, I'm not much of a golfer, but now is the time to work on my short game. <laughs> Stamps.com is here to help you get out the door faster. Ship and mail anytime from anywhere, right from your own computer. Send letters and ship packages without even leaving your home. Just set a pickup and your mail carrier will collect everything from your own doorstep. Set your business up for success by signing up today. Head to stamps.com slash dollamore for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. Having a stamps.com account also saves you money with major discounts on United States Postal Service and UPS shipping rates, up to 84% off. Stamps will automatically tell you what the cheapest, fastest option is. And if you're selling online, Stamps seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart. Over 1 million businesses have used Stamps for more than 25 years. Go to stamps.com slash dollamore for a special offer, again, that includes a four-week free trial, plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. If you sign up now at stamps.com slash dollamore, you can spend more time with your chipping <laughs> and less time with your shipping. So before we get to the Robert E. Lee impersonator, uh, I want to say that my opinions over time have kind of shifted on whether there will be consequences for Donald Trump. I used to be in the camp that... I just didn't see it in the cards. I thought that our our two-tier justice system uh, that, that protects the powerful, protects the wealthy, protects the connected, would once again fail to provide consequences for Donald Trump and his innumerable moments of criminality. I've since shifted. I, I believe that it's not a, a, a given, it's not a for sure thing, but I think it's more likely than it is not that he's going to get some consequences. There are going to be legal ramifications, criminal legal ramifications for several things that he's done over his life and career as president. Uh, and so that's good news. And this is more to the point that it's going to happen because this guy isn't just some dumb dumb on YouTube. He is intimately familiar with the characters. He's intimately familiar with Donald Trump and his behavior. And he even thinks Donald Trump's going to jail. It will be not much of a legal hurdle uh, for the special prosecutor to uh, prevail if Trump does indeed take this to, um, to court. 
On the timing, uh, I think this is I dotting and T crossing. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, this case is ready to go. I think there is a possibility that the obstruction case may be broadened to go ahead and include the Espionage Act uh, counts and the uh, possession, illegal possession uh, of the uh, classified documents, given, mm-hmm. given the extent that, uh, and, and solely because of the, the fact that Trump keeps lying about what the law is. Um, right. And they may, they may decide that uh, it's important enough for the country to fully grasp that. They don't need that to prove the obstruction. Uh, Trump could be right that he can declassify these things uh, uh, between foot massages, but the reality is uh, that's, just, that's just not the truth. Um, you know, the simple truth is there is a process. Apparently, 16 different government officials reminded him of the process that at least impacted them. Um, and uh, he totally ignored that and believes that the mere fact he took them declassifies them. So that's it's that's amazing not the it's, law. It's, it, well, it's interesting yeah, also, Ted, that you're saying obstruction, but that you also think they could choose to go further to include espionage um, to make the point. So what do you yeah, think I the w- actual charges will be? And, 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 will, and in them, would Trump be looking at jail time? So I wouldn't, if it was me, uh, based on my own prosecutorial career, I would not necessarily expand the case to try to prove the uh, uh, Espionage Act piece of it, because there's so much evidence of guilty knowledge on the evidence on the uh, espionage piece that all they really have to do is show that Trump moved these documents at various times um, uh, when DOJ was either demanding them or actually present, uh, that he um, uh, filed falsely with the Justice Department, had his lawyers file falsely with the Justice Department an affidavit to the effect that there were that none existed, which was you know um, shattered by the documents that they then discovered uh, after the search, and the many other misrepresentations that he and others have made on his behalf uh, with regard to uh, his possession of classified documents. So I think this is a, I think this obstruction case is a tight case. Uh, and yes, I do think he'll go to jail on it. Look, again, not a lawyer, but it seems to me important that a man with this much inside knowledge about the case and Donald Trump himself says that, one, it'll be obstruction, but also maybe even amped up to the espionage charge. And I, I don't know what Aaron Burnett's little thing there was about uh, just seeing what they could get or whatever comment she made. But this is huge that someone in the know is saying they believe Donald Trump is going to end up behind bars. Good day for America. Good day for justice. As much as Republicans prattle on like automatons, robot parrots, just repeating what Donald Trump says. We don't have the kind of two-tier justice they say we do. They say that it's all against Donald Trump and everybody else has a, has a different way of looking or a different way of being addressed by the law. That January 6th insurrectionists who have been found guilty by juries of their peers, oh, they're being oppressed and persecuted. This is all distractions. Donald Trump committed crime after crime after crime after crime after crime while president of the United States up to and including possibly violating the Espionage Act, but certainly obstruction of justice. The many uh, counts of it that were outlined in the, in the Mueller report, but many other things. He tried to extort a foreign leader. It, it was just chaos and nonsense, wall to wall, bell to bell, day to day, month after month with Donald Trump. Finally, I think we will see some uh, consequences, some legal ramifications for the ex-clown. What do you think? I would love to know. This is important. Uh, you should. Uh, th- this article will be linked in the bottom of the description. You can share this article. You can share this video. Uh, I would appreciate it. it. One, it helps support the channel, but also uh, we need more eyes on stories like this. Um, if you appreciate what I do and you want to help support what I do, click the join button below. Become a channel member for two bucks a month. 
You can give a super chat by clicking the little button there, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Uh, I'd love to hear from you on this. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore all the way across the board, and I'd love to see you there. And uh, happy Friday. (laughs) I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. Uh, I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.